I'm good. How are you? I'm really good. How old is your child now? Uh, my child is six months old. Six months old and yes. a little girl, right? Little girl. And what's her name? Catherine. Catherine, is she a good baby? Uh, she she is a good baby, but I will say that I was um, she's a well, she's a great baby she's a great baby, <laughs> um, but she's a baby, mm -hmm. and I um, have never been a kid person, and when I watched Reasons Why I Don't Have Kids. I was like, oh my, oh no, what have I gotten myself yeah. into? Um, so you've never been a kid person and yet you had a baby. No, I was I was the person who, when I saw like a one-year-old baby and they'd be like, Mindy, come be my baby. I'd be like, hello, young man. <laughs> Shaking hands with the infant. So it's been, but actually the hardest part about it, it's been pretty easy, mostly because she needs me for sustenance. So she is, she behaves well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, it, the hardest part was when I was really pregnant, when I came to see you last, I was just eating whatever I wanted. Because when you're pregnant, you can just say it's like cravings. And you're like, I needed to have 11 cupcakes because of my pregnancy cravings. <laughs> and everyone's like, no, she's, a, she's about to have a kid. Let her eat whatever she wants. But I haven't um, altered that that much since having the kid. Oh, really? So yeah, and it's not normal to be <laughs> not pregnant and have a birthday cake at Tuesday afternoon uh, yeah. <laughs> when it's not your birthday. But, well, so we'll, I think see. you look great. But I think Thank that you. would be hard to all of a sudden stop eating a certain way for, you know, for eight months or however long you were doing it, you yeah, know? Yeah, thank you, especially when you were eating terribly. Yeah. yeah, and then all of a sudden start eating, you know, broccoli or something. Yeah, yeah. that's my um, life now. So you hung out with Oprah, and how was that? She's fabulous, well, isn't she? I'm not her best friend, like yeah. you guys are. You guys are very, very Reese tight. and I are best friends with her, yes. Yes, I'm yeah. not the tight tree of you guys, but um, it's great. And she actually had a screening for her movie, A Wrinkle in Time, and invited the cast up to her, her home, which is... I think the nicest home in America. Mm -hmm. and I know you've been there. Yes. And, and um, I was scared because I had to bring my baby with me because she was so little at the time. And she'd been really fussy. And she'd been fussy the whole way. And I'm like, oh my God, am I going to be the person that brings the screaming baby into Oprah's like cathedral of beauty and art? <laughs> and the minute we went in, I was like, Catherine, please, please. We're, you have no idea how high the stakes are right now. And we walked into the door and she just, her eyes went wide and she stopped crying like she knew she was in Oprah's house. <laughs> and then she was just like coyly like smiling and being adorable for like the next four hours. Wow, she is smart. Yeah, she's a smart kid. Super smart. But if anybody's gonna be okay with kids, it's gonna be Oprah because she's, you know, she loves children. She's like, a, and she's, she has like a literal school for girls. Yes, yeah, she does. In South Africa. Yeah. yeah. So, um, and you're gonna, uh, you know, it's June, of course. Um, you're gonna be <laughs> 39 later this month. Yes. And uh, is that, like, is, what does that I mean? I hate it. Why? I hate it. Why? Um, one, because I'm like a narcissistic actress, but two, because <laughs> I think that there's something about a nine that is so hard to handle. Like, I'd rather be 40 for two years straight than 39. <laughs> because I feel like when people ask your age and you say 39, you feel like you're clinging to your 30s in this really lame way. Uh -huh. Like, I'm 39. They're like, you just say you're 40. Like, like you're, so that's... That's my that's my thing with 39. It's, it's, an, it's an actual age, though. You know that, right? <laughs> like, it's the year between 38 and 40. So you can actually, it's real to say that. You shouldn't, you shouldn't feel like you're clinging on to the 30s. That's a good point. But if you want to jump ahead and say, I'm 40, you can. I'd be the first actress in history to, <laughs> to jump to ahead. Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. So let's talk about the movie. So Ocean's uh, 8, is it called? Ocean's 8. Oh, so, uh, like, let's talk about the cast. It's you, Sandra Bullock. Rihanna. Kate Blanchett, Annie Hathaway. Sarah Paulson. Yes, Rihanna. It, I mean. Helena Bottom Carter. That's crazy. Yeah, just a bunch of struggling actresses. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The, on trying to make their first break, yeah. Right. So, but it's a, it's the Oceans, it's the, the female remake of, of Oceans. Oceans 11, yeah. yeah. And. Well, no, it's exciting, I, but it's like one of those things that's very intimidating because everyone, you know, the Oceans movie, Sandra Bullock plays uh, Danny Ocean's sister, Debbie Ocean. She has to go around and find everyone based on their skills to do this heist. And so when I was, when you get cast in a movie like that, you're like, oh God, like Rihanna is like a computer genius in the movie. Other people are like expert pickpockets. And I'm like, please don't let me be the person who like gets bitten by a dog to distract them. <laughs> while they like rob the Met Gala, where they're like doing something cool and they're like, hey, Mindy, we need you to fall down some stairs as a diversion. <laughs> um, but so that was my, my big fear. But you're not. No, I, I'm, I, like, I'm, a, I'm good at jewelry. Oh. Yeah, not you, making jewelry. By ma <laughs> you're good at making jewelry? <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a jeweler, I'm a I, jeweler. I see, yeah. that comes in handy when you're doing a heist? Uh. <laughs> 
I'm not making it sound great, but it was helpful. Okay. I promise it's helpful.